so this is where we left in the last video so first thing you have to do come here and close this one close this one and here come into the navigation bar and we have the data like we have the name of the network we have the account address so let's test with those data we have already what we can do here we have this context and that we're going to import the data we're going to import the ether we're going to import the account we're going to import the and here we have two accounts so right now we don't need this one so you can do one thing uh, let's see where we are using so simply come in this and we have the network here we have it the network and here we are displaying the demo net network data account and here we have to display the account address so type account and looks good to me if you save it refer the browser okay we are connected but still we are getting that connect wallet so okay my bad if we have an account then we have to display current wallet and i know what is the problem simply grab this entire one and we have to copy this one here and this one is is down below so if we have an account then we want to display this first button but if we don't have the account then we want to display this button connect wallet button and you can see we got our address but it's pretty huge so what we can do we can slice it down so we can use the slice function and that i want to take the zero and i want to take 20 characters so that looks good it's looks good what we can do let's pass dot 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 so the user can understand that they have there is more address or you can do one thing you can add a click button like some when someone will click on that the address will get copy you can add that as well but we're going to add it at the end so we have the address looking fine and you can see this is the demo data the demo token list we are displaying here but here we're going to display all the list of the token which a user has in that particular account address this looks fine to me now we have this network and we have to display the network name so where we are displaying the name of the network and here we have the network name the data and this is where we are importing and here we are calling that simply replace with this actual network name save it you can see right now we have unknown and that's what it is displaying so no matter user is connected with the test or the main net this will get updated so network name is also working fine now let's come here and scroll all the way up simply open this one and what else we can display here we have this connect wallet function which we are passing in this open model so right now we are sending this text but we need to send the function so let's come here and if we come here here we have the function in our context swap context simply copy and that's what we can pass here so we can receive this function so here in the navigation but let's receive it let's receive the import the function and that's the function we're going to pass it here pass the function connect wall so that looks fine to me and this is the data so remember that the data we have got token data that's data we're going to pass here so right now we are passing hey so let's come back here and in this array we have the data of all the tokens so simply get the token data and simply receive it here in the context and that's what we're going to simply pass it simply copy that one and that's the data we're going to pass it here instead of this text we want to pass the entire data and we are receiving here so here we have receiving this token data simply grab this one and that's what we have to paste here and here you can see we are using this demo data so what i can do simply paste this token data and let's comment this one if i save if i click on this okay okay we are getting this error message undefined why so cannot read properties of undefined so to see the data what i can do let's bring it back that's mean somehow the data is not coming so it's looking fine and that looks good to me no problem we have to check in the function that why we are getting this undefined so if i come here here we have this token if i try to simply console log of the data console.log the entire token data 
and if I do the inspect element you can see here we got the array so this we have two tokens but it's repeating three times we're gonna fix this behavior but right now just focus on the token so we are getting the data but why it's saying the undefined if you reload we are getting this data name symbols and the balance of each token it's working it's working but why it's showing me this weird behavior and simply come here let's try to log the data here so token data and let's try to refresh the browser and nothing we got here we got nothing here let's come here and what I can do is I can simply console the data here in this nav bar so here we are receiving simply paste it and no response we are getting let's come here and here we are importing from the context simply grab this one and let's try to console log of the data here so console.log token data it's a token data and simply copy this one and paste here okay this looks good uh, okay I'm getting undefined so the data is are undefined so maybe we have some problem in the context itself so let's try to check what's the problem everything's look good here here we have the data and I found the problem that here we actually not passing the data in our children so here we have to send the data and because of this we were getting undefined so make sure to do this and if we come here and if we go to this component nav bar and here we are in the nav bar sections and here we are receiving that data so what we can do simply come here and we're going to pass the data here into this token list that's the data we are passing get into this component and here we are receiving that console.log and just open up the browser do the inspect element and let's test it out that do we exactly getting the data or not so console and here you can see that still we are getting undefined make sure to reload the browser to make the things happen and nothing happened that's weird so what we can do simply cut this one and simply copy this and simply paste here so right now we are not using our demo data we are using the two tokens we have and that data we have inside this token data so let's try to save it and let's try to reload the browser okay and here you can see it's working here we got this four token actually we have two token but our data is getting repeated so that's why you can see there is our there are four element but we actually have two element so let's reload the browser and click on this and here you can see we have the data don't need to worry about this repetition we're going to write a sm small little fun script which can solve this problem so that looks pretty good to me it's working but why the data is not displaying here so what I can do I'll let me console log this out here and let's try to find out that why the data is not displaying here so I'm going to simply pass the data so here we have the data now let's do the inspect element and let's try to have a look one more time still this is empty that's weird okay so we can't get this data simply cut this one and come back to this nav bar because here we are sending that prop so let's come up here and here you can see that we are getting this data from this context and here I'm going to simply console log out the data so simply console log out the data and let's see that do we have the data or not so let's console log out this and here you can see that here we got that token data so you can see we have four array because one token is getting repeated we're gonna fix this so inside this zero element first array we have the name we have the symbol and we have the token balance simply come here and let's get into this token list and here we are hard coding the value now we're going to display the actual data so here we have the hey so which I'm going to remove with the name so we have the element inside that we have the name now we have to take the symbols simply grab the symbol come back here we're going to display the symbol so element dot symbol 
and here you can notice one thing the symbol has a big name okay i made a mistake so instead of symbol i have to add name and at the place of name i have to add the symbols but just go like this you can see that the data is working fine so let's take this token balance and that's what we're going to display here element dot token balance it's looking fine to me now what we can do come here reload the browser and let's try to check this out if you click on this and here you can see that we have the symbol lf and we have the name of the token which is a boot token and the life token and we have the total supply so each of these token has ten thousands tokens and that's all we can easily be to display right here in this component so that's working fine the logic is also working fine we can easily be able to retrieve the data and display the data everything's working fine now let's reload the browser and click on this so this looks pretty good let's come back to the code and what we can do come here and now we have to filter the data so right now you can see the data is repeating twice now what i want to do is i'm not going to do the changes in the entire data model so i'm going to write a small fun script which can do that for me so if you want to do it in your main data model you can do that but i will go in this approach so let me take a variable i'll call it let token list it's gonna be an empty array inside that i'm going to run a for loop so i'll say let i is equal to zero if i is less than the token data dot length then we want to increment that so i plus plus that's the script we have now we have to check for condition so we'll say if i and if i get the remainder one so what i want to do is take that element and i want to push that element into this array very simple logic i hope this makes sense to all of you guys so right now we have the data in that, into that token list and that's the data we're going to render here. So instead of this token data, we're going to simply paste this token list data. So if you save and here you can see, boom, it's working fine. So we have our two tokens, life, life. The bow is not displaying. Okay, so we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that, but it's working fine. You can see that we have reduced instead of four, we can reduce the two. So that looks pretty fine to me. So let's come back to the code and that looks pretty awesome so don't need to worry that currently the boo token is not displaying i know why it's not displaying because we have lost token so it will work fine when we'll add more token which i will going to definitely fix that problem so just go in that way so that's the entire code that looks pretty fine to me now let's close this one close this one and this is the entire swap token and this is the entire fetch data function we have written we are calling that function and let's come here what i want to do is this is the entire state we have 